Hey Vikings, what's up? So we have some news here. As you all know, the game was down for an update today. Let's take a look at the changes. So it says update, changes to the Battle for the Light. An improved opponent assignment system in the Battle for the Light. We'll be mixing up participants in the competition more thoroughly at the assignment stage so that you encounter new opponents in battles more often. Now that's a huge complaint that a lot of players had that when they signed up for Battle for the Light they were getting the same people over and over again and weren't able to win because they were getting really strong players. So this is going to be nice. Hopefully we won't be seeing the same people over and over again in the same matches that we do. And it goes on to say random assignment of portals for battles in Elfheim. The portal at which you start battle in, the Battle for the Light, is now selected entirely at random. I didn't even know. I thought it was always so selected at random. <laughs> I had no idea <laughs> that it wasn't. Okay, displaying opponents after the Battle for the Light. You'll now be able to view the names of your opponents in battles. Oh wow. Even after the Battle for the Light has ended. For this, we've added the battles icon to the window of a competition that has already ended. Okay, that's interesting. An additional condition for moving to another kingdom. We're, we've expanded the list of conditions for moving to another kingdom. You won't be able to move using Drakaris if you have registered for a battle in the Battle for the Light that is currently active or soon to be active. Okay, that makes sense though. So if you register for Battle for the Light and you move kingdoms, actually that's now impossible. You can't move kingdoms if you've registered. So you gotta wait till you finish out your Battle for the Light before you can move. Okay, moving on. A change to tasks in the Kingdom Battle Fury. In the competition, there will now be different categories of tasks in which you need to destroy enemy warriors. The first one is killing enemy warriors in any location. The second one is killing warriors in Towers of Fury. Okay, got a new system here. Alright, so now it says new levels for guards. Upgrade the Guard of Freedom, Strength, Cunning, Twilight, and Guard of Souls to level 15. Also, additional slots for Shaman sets. Yes, <laughs> this is about time. Save and apply 10 Shaman sets. That's 5 sets more than before. The last open chat is now automatically remembered. When you return to the game, you will see the last chat you opened last. If it's unavailable, you'll see your home kingdom chat instead. Okay, so that's it, Vikings. Then, of course, we have uh, training warriors and boosting processes on October 22nd. Looks like we're going to be getting an extra training boost. That's really nice. That's tonight after reset. And what's this? Path of Light training. On October 22nd, a new personal competition will be taking place that involves training troops. So once again, we're going to be able to earn that Elfheim light in this personal competition right here. Um, and that will be October the 22nd, so after reset tonight. So that's everything, Vikings. That's all the changes. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's go take a look at those guards real fast that we can now upgrade. Here they are. Oh, nope, that's the ones. Here they are. <laughs> okay. So we have Guard of Cunning, Guard of Strength, Freedom, Souls. Oh, Guard of Twilight. That's the one I don't have. So I'm wondering if Guard of Twilight will be in the season store tonight when it resets. Because as we all know, there's a big picture of Guard of Twilight at level 15 on the news over here a new season is coming that picture back there really does look like a frankenstein guard like several guards put together but then when you look at the name twilight carnival i'm pretty sure it's guard of twilight so the big question is will this be in tonight's seasonal store and if so how much will it be like 75 million runic coins i don't know how much were they asking for the guard of mystery 75 so this is probably going to be around the same price but i don't know we'll find out tonight <laughs> all right vikings that's all the news i have for you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know your thoughts i'll talk to you next time but until then stay safe out there